Having a fantastic day, and welcome to Rotten Flesh, an indie horror game made by Steel Krill Studios. And uh, it's uh, a game that just came out. And it's uh, if you haven't seen it on like Twitter on any social media, it's a game where and I'll just explain the the store page. Rotten Flesh is a cosmic horror game or survival game where you have just lost your dog named Roy, and you have to find him by shouting Roy on your microphone. Venture deep into the sewers where your dog was lost, however, something else can also hear your screams in the tunnels. Oh, kind of, you know, stuff like that. So, um, you can apparently hit spacebar to call for Roy, but I'm going to use the microphone normally. It's just if I'm trying to do commentary and it gets in the way of playing, I might turn it off for spacebar, but for obvious, like, jump scare or spookiness reasons, I'm gonna have it so it, the microphone is left on so I can yell and be like, Roy! Just shout out for Roy, but not really shout, you know what I mean? But we'll, uh, let's see, how do we play first? Roy, your beloved dog is missing after he ran away uh, while out for a walk. While you got distracted, he ran off, making his way deep into the sewage system. Arthur reminds me of that other game people know about. I actually can't remember the name I'm thinking of. I know it was made by the same person who made Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, so I know exactly what I'm thinking about, but I can't remember the name. Uh, Lost in Vivo. That's it. It's, about to, it's always on my tip of tongue. I, I also have to stream and finish that, too. It's going to bug me. But uh, you make your way into the tunnels. The tunnels uh, were famous myth back in the 90s, which were supposedly occupied by a leading cult, but was noth nothing was ever confirmed. It's all a myth after all. You are Roy's only hope in trying to save him. You can't just leave Roy all alone down there. That's not what good owners do. And for microphone output, you can shout for Roy on your microphone by default or press space. Uh, Roy will bark and will lead you to the next clue. However, the enemy can also hear you. Okay. And WASD, shift, control, tab for inventory, Q for examine, peak corners as R and T, and shooting. Right, hmm, right mouse button to shoot though, not to toggle aim. Maybe keep that in mind. All right, but yeah, let's get it. You can shout Roy from your microphone, he will bark. You will use a oh, right mouse button to shoot, however, enemy, wait, wait that means enemies when you hear, wait, if you hear footsteps, but, but, okay, there, that's, that's a lot of rapid tips, but I get it. Hide. I mean, Roy! depends. Roy. Roy! You may have many best friends, but your dog is only ha- Oh, your dog only has one. Okay, then that. Come here, boy! I mean, I mean, I could disagree with that, but I mean, I, I, I I get the... I, I get it. Man's best friend, after all. Roy. Roy, where are you, boy? Roy! Roy! You can pick up items that display... Okay. Very nice. Tab. Oh, I could amnesia and or Resident Evil style inventory system. Okay, okay. Roy, what a good boy he is. I hear him. Um, uh, not sure what got into him and ran off all of a sudden while I was walking him. I have to find him. He is all the family I have left. Oil lamp, metal frame. Use. Wait, shortcut. Oh, it's on. Oh, it is like really like a Resident Evil uh, system. Okay. Sure, sure. Only thing I'll change is mouse sensitivity. Oh, wait, camera blinking, microphone input. Wait, streamer mode censored. Okay, just in case. Microphone sensitivity. Roy. Roy. He's not barking. Maybe I'm just not near him yet. Roy. I 
detach valve. Missing... Okay. Wait. Uh, missing child report? Wait. Strange. Anyways. Roy! Oh, maybe he does actually hear me. Roy? Roy! Maybe there's like an interval where they don't bark. Alright. Okay, I can put it away. Wait. It wants your skin to be human again. Old man. It's definitely some weird noise. What? I... A, cl a clown? I think the dog's just hearing me talk, though. I'm not sure. Press crouch. Roy! <laughs> okay. I'll have to see after not talking for a while if just talking makes him bark, though. Doggy? Coincidence? I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Good job bonking your head on the wood, you idiot. I think he's just responding to my, my voice simply. Weird. Like we can do another test. Bork. I don't I don't think he responds to Roy. I think he just responds to loud sudden noise. Um let's see. I need to try to reserve my oil. I think he just responds to me talking simply. Not specifically to Roy. Random child with a basketball? So we have to avoid this. Okay. Oil. That's good. That's good. Um, it, is that what's making the sound? Or something behind? Okay, Roy's still barking for me, though. We will find the dog. We must. Should I hide? A lot of explosives to shoot. Finding way through the... Door's locked. Okay. Easy. I don't think they've introduced the monster yet. Or will for now. Not yet. But we learned under the tables where we can hide. Also. Roy!
Gotta make sure he's still alive. Oh, thank God for... Uh, like, naked mannequin and that's why. I mean, YouTube will censor or, like, demonetize my videos just for naked mannequins. That, you know, the female mannequins that don't even have nipples. And YouTube will censor them. No, I'm not calling your name, dog. Hmm. Nope. Gonna assume no one's in here. Ugh. All right. Well, yes. Good thing there's. Good thing I turned on sensor mode. I don't think he's really skinned these. Don't ta take it. Don't don't let it take your skin. Or we'll walk. I'll assume it's meant to say Among Us, but it gets sort of clipped. Show cursor. Could I? Hmm. Oh, I can interact with it. Okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah, no. Um, no, Roy, I'm not calling you. Damn it! Oh, I gotta take that. Um, looks like, yeah. Oh, find all Roy. Uh, four of Roy's clues. Find Roy's. No, I'm not calling you, Roy. Find Roy's name tag, find Roy's lease, find Roy's bone toy and harness. I mean, I... I mean, if there are clues and you could use them to find them, sure, but... Eh. God damn it, Roy. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be part of this anymore. I don't want to be part of this cult. I... They woke something beyond their own capabilities. It keeps wanting more and more. I can't keep getting more victims. It's too much. Many people, or many have died because of me. I gave you my family, I gave you my son. I can't do this anymore. Do not feed it more or it will become human, but it's not. I'm sorry for this madness. I have to try to stop it. I have to... I own it. I'm sorry. Okay, also... I'll have to see if the whole Roy calling... Let me, let me try it now. Microphone, I'll disable. And... Controls. Wait. What about the call Roy? I swear it said space bar to call for Roy, but it's also on like a jump that doesn't completely work, so I'll keep the microphone on even though the dog's just gonna listen to me and hear me talking and just respond to that. Um. He already read that. Okay. So we can save the game. Excellent. Progress. Nice. Okay, so it's a hiding spot. Don't need it right now. Don't take... Don't let it take your skin. No, nah, or we'll walk among men. Okay, that's the full thing. Some of the victims, I am sorry. <clears throat> oh. Skinned off face. I see. Guess it's everything. Roy's collar, that boy never goes anywhere without it. I have to find him. Yeah.
I waited enough. Is he still there? Or not since the music stopped. Roy! Okay. Roy still barks. And combine. Nice. Okay. We gotta find... I like there's just like a random piece of pizza on a shelf. Actually, how, where would I go afterwards though? Like, has the door opened? We have to check. All right. Hmm. Wait. So something was here eating the rat. It's now showing the microphone input on the bottom right. Microphone input can always be disabled or sensitivity. Okay. I see. Show Roy. Okay, I see. There's also a, um... It's actually showing on the bottom right, um... I might have to turn... Hang on, hang on. I think... Micro sense, my, microphone sensitivity needs to be... Low. Possibly. So it doesn't misinterpret my talking. Okay, let me, let me put it very low. I need to change this up. Very low. Beep, beep. Let's see. So if the dog doesn't... Oh god. That's just super sensitive. I'm gonna wander in off areas just to see may not be a, may not be a good sound or I don't know what'll kill me so I mean I'll I'll talk normal but if we hear music I'm gonna have to shut up <laughs> I just can't do this anymore I can't keep bringing more victims for it. I had no choice. I tried to justify that by bringing sick people, then people who were old, and then it kept wanting more and more until I had no choice. But this stops. I can't do it anymore. I have to stop it. It gets very angry when it doesn't have anything to eat, but it's staring. It's starting to take form. It's starting to look like a human, but it's not. Whatever it touches spreads infection. Whatever it consumes can be a part of it. I don't know what the hell it is. The more you feed it, the more it becomes one of us. Don't. I have to stop it. I have to try. Okay. I don't know... What areas... Like, I don't think they'll be like... The dog will bark. I'm like, Roy! Roy! Really? That, that doesn't count anymore? Roy! Roy! Is that you, boy? I guess it doesn't detect me enough, so the dog won't bark accidentally. Maybe? Or it has to, like... I'm not sure. I don't know. The The face shows, like, my growing microphone, but... I don't know. Let's just keep going. Because I don't think going in the directions that the dog isn't at would mean death. I do want to explore in all areas besides where the dog barks from.
My stamina sucks and I can barely outrun it. Now I think the monster is following me. Spacebar to yell for Roy, but I'll assume that if my microphone, which you guys can't see, I'll, I'll remove my microphone here if I or my webcam here if you guys want to see it. Um, actually, mm, I'll, I'll, if I can remember in this spot where I remove my webcam, you'll see on the bottom right briefly the shout for Roy microphone. What I'm used to seeing on the bottom right where my face covers it. Um, I'm going to assume it, the monster can't hear me unless the microphone goes into the red decibel range. Not sure, though. That's why I don't know how careful I should be when I'm near the creature or not. Not sure. Hmm, nice. I try to kill it. It's no use. It's going to come after me next. I'm sorry I found. We have awoke something far more dangerous than we would have thought. It's also spreading infections. Rats are becoming blind and aggressive and attacking everything in sight. What have we done? What have we done? I'm sorry. Okay. The gun is number two. It was shaped like a Glock, but in my hand it looks like a Walter or Walther or whatever. I'm not a gun expert, but... The gun model's completely changed, and I, I can't ignore that. It was definitely in that direction that we gotta be a little careful. I can't talk as loudly as I was before. Can't hear me talk like this. We get and generally have the idea of range then. <clears throat> Just <clears throat> what the hell was that? I better find Roy and get the hell out of here. I'm gonna kill that piece of shit. Fucking stupid tiny. Really? Really? Waste two fucking bullets on stupid ass rats. Give me some time to let this fucker uh, go somewhere else. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back in this room. I'm gonna save it here. I'll assume that then if I die, at least it won't spawn too close. But yeah, no no dropping things. That uh, creature will hear anything that's thrown, I think, regardless of range. So we can just wander again. <laughs> I'm 
curious about shooting explosive barrels to hurt it though. Because there's a lot of... There is a lot of shit around that looks like if I do shoot... Like, not the monster. Shooting the monster probably does nothing. But sh shooting explosive barrels, yes. And how big is this? Ugh, the fucking rats. Anyways, I don't know how big this level is. Hopefully one of the clues are in here. So it's not a... I don't think the monster can go under these. Oh, why is the rat so annoying sounding? I think these are like safe places from the monster. What's the code? Find the key code for the steel door. God damn it. But these typewriters aren't always in areas that are completely safe because like the room I was just in and last saved in. He might be able to crawl under these. It, it'd be foolish to assume he can't for now. Uh, I need... Oh. 6636... Six, six, six. That was simple. Ah, oh, Roy. Okay. That arrow has any meaning. Keep on. You need to unlock with. Injured me. It's in two one two one seven four. It's definitely probably the one on the very left side since it had the arrows that were there preemptively. Seven eight seven two. Seven eight seven two. Seven eight seven two. save all right uh, we're just gonna keep wandering then okay I'm gonna try to beat this in like, like a single setting wait Wait. 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me try to get acquainted with this map a little bit. Okay. Uh, double click, examine. Okay. Um. Mannequins. Oh, map was here. Okay, we're on the left. Okay, okay. So we're, I was looking at the bottom right of the map. Okay, so we are the bottom left. The question mark... Question marks are likely where I need to go, I guess? Where did I come from? Let me try to track. Ryan James was my name. If anyone finds this, I'm dead. Tell parents I love them. Okay, okay. Um, map was here. Torture room. It's a blue door. It's barricaded. Which might mean I can blow it up? We can check the barricaded room on the left and follow the left-hand wall, I guess? Because there's a typewriter that will just come up. But where did I come from then? Let me try to retrace. Dead rats question mark. I t came from definitely the save room that was on the bottom. Which means if we follow the bottom right of the map, you guys can't see like where my a mouse cursor. But essentially I think we started on the bottom right? Maybe? Or was it on the top right? I, I don't know. But yeah, let's follow the left hand boy, wall. Are you here, boy? Nope. Okay. Quietly now. Actually, man, he's blocking my way. Never mind. Should be far enough so it can't hear me. Um, we need a crowbar to break those off. So the blue is barricaded. We need a barricade or er, a crowbar. leash. Music room. Next. He's close.
I think I missed the music room. <laughs> hey, body parts. Dead rats. Annoying fucking rats. So I should... I'm so confused, but I'm going to go to that question mark. Maybe? Just have to follow... They're so annoying sounding. Um, Alright, since the creature is now gone, um, I'm going to go to the hanging dolls, to the music, and then to that next question mark. Because the question marks will have, like, I guess, then ammo, or the dog dog parts, or not dog key items. So the music is definitely the next spot. We just need to go straight right. Should be fine. Oh! Crowbar! I'm one of the many victims taken to this... Okay, you guys can read it. I'm in a little bit of a rush. And it's close by. Ah, oh, wait. We got a crowbar so we can enter this room. Or blow it up, maybe. Noisy. But yeah, um, give me one moment. Okay, so music room. Oh my god, these fucking rats. Wasn't a dog...
He's not charging towards me, so I'm moving slowly. Okay. I'm just seeing if I can slowly get out of there without him hearing me. Causing problems. Now let's quickly see. He is like right behind me though. So what I will do is I'll keep going. I'm following the right right side wall, hang on. And that should have been I'm probably in the top middle. And I keep following the left hand wall, I'll get to the save point on the top right, but not the top rightest right. So let's check it out. Wait, if I go just left... Okay. The game is, at least I can compliment, that there's a lot of random events that don't feel too forced. Like that mannequin that was in the intersection, what it didn't... <laughs> Or even like that. Um, the mannequin that was in the intersection didn't do anything until I was being chased and then moved. So I like that it was like, it gives you this way. See, I should be going straight ahead. Hopefully. I need to get to that. Oh, missing valve. Okay, wait. Missing valve, but for what? Maybe it's the only way I can get to the question mark. We'll see. I'll be following the uh, top right side wall. Hopefully get to that. Like, they can't be another creature. The, like, everything else is just, like, in your head. Or distractions. They do a good job, at least, of making you maybe uh, doubt yourself. What the fuck? Oh, he's fuck with my eyes. What the hell? They're so warped. It just fucks with my vision. Oh. Why do I hear them talking? Also, where am I then? We are... okay. We're near the question mark. But we can't get to it? Straight ahead? Well, I'll assume... Yeah, the only way we should be the valve. So that to go straight... And then left, where there's no dead end or barricade. Okay. We should be good. We got the valve for it. fucking rat so much. I would genocide every rat if I could, if it wasn't a waste. Hi, manly badass. <laughs> or, well, manly... Where does the H though come from? from me stepping on the damn planks. 
have to be more careful. Okay. I should be able to talk normally a little bit now. Um, but the wooden planks, I did not step on those. And I guess the only way to go this is where. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So, where else are we missing them? This question mark... Oh. Um, assuming we didn't get the bottom right one, it could be the bottom right. And if not that, I'm curious what's behind the... The barricades? Like, we broke the barricades to get to the hanging dolls in the middle, right? And there's a blue there. But there's also that room to the very, very left that has nothing. No question mark. But it's barricade. It's a white barricade. An empty room that has nothing in it, right? Hmm. Because we have... And we need to find Roy's harness and we're done. So it's either Roy's harness is on the bottom right. And all we have to do is exit the valve, go to the messing valve room, go to the hanging bodies, get the bottom right, and then leave? Point of interest is question mark. Door requires code. Typewriter. But how do we escape? Where did we even enter? I don't genuinely know where we started. I... I really don't. <laughs> like, if it told us to go back to the star, I... I... Did we start on, like, the bottom of the map? I have no idea where the exit even would be. So, I don't know. We'll, uh... Learn as we go, I guess. And I need more... Oh, I need more fuel for my lantern. Anyways, let me, um... Go to the bottom right. Hopefully with no issues. jump scare but it's not so loud it gets the enemy coming towards me only if you got jump scared and yelled like a little bitch basically That's a weird visual bug for the developer. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, um, we are going oh, towards the hanging bodies. Is that weird visual glitch? Um, okay, fuck off already. So I think we're going this way, right? Yes. Ah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Roy. 
Sorry. Right back. How would Roy get up there? R Roy? I don't buy it. I don't... I, what's behind that barricade? I do is it, if this is a bad ending, I swear to fucking god. Or we'll continue somewhere else. Roy! Boy! It's me! Roy? Roy? No, 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 no! No! No, I knew it! Oh, help me! Ah! I knew it. Roy's. Roy's no more. I mean, as soon as. You got the last thing, the monster didn't feel like it was roaming anymore. I didn't hear it going. <sighs> A shame. Game was developed by Ryan, a solo developer. No, Unity Engine, even. But, uh. Yeah. I'd say it was, uh, much uh, better made than. I, I'm, I'm just trying to remember. It was, um. Hang on a tick. Rotten Flesh, the developer they had made. Ah, uh, yes, they made the Backrooms 1998 found footage that I played. Of course. Okay. That was what I was being reminded with the, uh, the jump scares. Um, the Backrooms 1998, made by the same developer, had, like, like, 500% more fucking obnoxious jump scares, so I'd say this had a lot more balance to it. Also, just a black screen, and it's going to. Anything else? Hm? Oh. The game just. It doesn't end, end? Alright, well, that's a little strange, but. Uh, going back to the game store page, no, um, they made the Backrooms 1998 in last year, and that was one of the, well, I played that, um, and they made the Voidness, the Lidar, I can't remember if it was LIDAR or LIDAR horror survival game that had, like, the, the camera scanning thing, I hadn't played that, unfortunately, it's, uh, it was on the backlog of like along with so many other games, but now the Rotten Flesh I would say is definitely though an improvement from the Backrooms 1998. Like the Backrooms 1998 had a, a big map, but it was just like the Backrooms 1998 had way too much filter effects, way too much like hey camcorder to your face stereotype, and like the repetitiveness and loudness of the jump scares was a huge put off. When Rotten Flesh did have some of those loud jump scares that were just littered, like bodies dropping, but at least it didn't happen like 500% more than what this gameplay footage showed. So, less used force jump scares, the better, but at least like used to keep people somewhat on edge, or to make it so there's a possible jump scare, but that it doesn't get executed until later if you run by a second or third time like the mannequins in the intersection which I said I liked because usually it's just like you see something you can predict something's gonna happen and forced loud jump scares gets really annoying and only works on children or people that just have really sensitive fight and flight you know uh, just fight and flight some uh, kind of situations some people are a lot more sensitive for Oh, now, okay, now it's restarting. Holy shit, that took a while. That's funny. But yeah, anyways, it was still made by a single person, so... For this... Like an hour... I'd say it's like... 30 to 60 minutes of gameplay, arguably. But, it was entertaining enough. Not... The only thing that was, like, unoriginal is the premise, because again, Lost in Vivo kind of thing. And I've definitely played another game that was Lost Dog in the Sewers. 
but I definitely recall the one I'm just thinking of now is one of my rage videos. You can just put in like Nico rages and it's like one of them where it involves a dog and it's just like a monster in the sewers that kept coming after you. But dog lost in sewers, monster in sewers with you isn't an original idea. I've, like I said, I've played the, that kind of game three separate times more than likely, maybe four, but Nah, the execution was good though, nonetheless, so it was an enjoyable experience. I liked the amount of jump scares. I'm sure there's plenty of jump scares I didn't see that other YouTubers will see that I won't. But nonetheless, just sad that I couldn't rescue the dog. There's no good ending with the dog surviving. I'll double check the store page just to make sure and then conclude though. Alright, no, it uh, does not uh, and talk about multiple endings, so it's just that ending. Although I will point out in the store page, for whatever reason, like, the features it says puzzle solving, find clues, solve puzzles, and try to advance to the next objective. And then it talks about survival elements with a full inventory system, but right, right after that it says puzzles to unsolve, mysteries to uncover, use your mind to overcome obstacles that you will find in your way. Why would you advertise and say there's puzzle solving, and then not like just one sentence like two sentences down from that you say puzzles to unsolve what's the difference between puzzle solving and puzzle unsolving what well, you don't need to repeat yourself in terms of what features are in the game it's a little silly a little redundant but okay uh i'll take that as a, a feedback of something to improve than the game store page but otherwise better game than the back rooms so in the right direction uh the other feedback is the like the, the gameplay you'll see a lot more visual gl glitches to improve and uh i would I, I also the one other thing would be the gun model like why the fuck is it a, a glock but then it turns into a walter gun like i i'm, I, I'm not a, a gun expert let me type what i'm thinking is it called walter a Walther pistol? Walther? Is it? Like, a World War II era or something? No, Walther PP. I, I think it's definitely that. It's the Walther PP. It's pronounced Walther or Walther? But, no, it's the <laughs> Walther PP. The German pistol. Like a, it, but it was like a... But the model in-game was something else, but then became a different gun sort of thing. It, it's like, what? It, weird inconsistency. But otherwise, it's alright. But if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below. Craft hits my videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time. <sighs>